Hey, what's going on? Builders Kurosama here. And today we're going to take a look at the Gundam TR-1 Advanced Hazel. Now, this is a really cool mobile suit. Uh, it's unique, to say the least. Um, the head unit is very unique. I mean, the legs are really bulky, but bulky in a good way. Um, they got some nice uh, high heels. It's going to have three different shields. And you're going to have the arm units right on the, uh, the front of the waist, which I think is a little odd. You know, it's not only the coloring is odd, because it's just a big white piece right in front of it, but it, it's pretty cool. So we're going to take a look at how this unit functions in the game and if it's actually worth your investment. So let's take a look at the head unit first. So with the head unit first, yeah, it's okay. It's pretty average. Uh, it does have really good armor, but uh, the shot attack is eh, a little bit lackluster in my opinion. Um, it's a lot better than a lot of other units we've seen in the past, but regardless, I think the parameters are just kind of more meh, very balanced. Um, now, taking a look at the parts trait, we got with Technique Attribute, Shot Spread Reduce 15%. Um, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> It'd be better if it was Vulcans or if it was like, um, maybe even, uh, I'm trying to think if like, if it was like long or mid-range, um, attack power increase. That would be really good, but a shot spread reduced by 15%, I don't think is that amazing. Now looking at the body unit, it's going to have pretty good armor. Everything else is going to be meh. Taking a look at the EX skill, we got the shoulder grenade launcher. So physical shot, you got D, B plus, which is pretty good. Uh, first time is going to be six seconds. Attack enemy with the double barrel break action grenade launcher stowed in your shoulder frame. Um, so you see it right there up in the uh, the top, those little, like, little canisters. <sighs> I don't know, man. I, I think it's okay. Um, it, it, I don't know. I think body units, like some body units are better off being either awakenings or being, you know, like a good trait. This, I think, is just, I don't know. I don't think it's really that great. So, you you can get it if you want, but to me, it's going to be a pass. Now, we're moving on to the arm unit, and this is... This is bad, man. I don't know why they're not putting a lot more emphasis on either a shot attack or melee attack, especially, you know, maybe me melee attack since it's, you know, the arms. But this is horrible. These are really bad stats, man. And I I'm not saying this because it's just like, oh, you know, of course it's going to be bad. It's on uh, three star. We've seen three stars, even two stars that have fantastic stats. Like, I just don't get why they can't put a little more emphasis on even just the shot attack since this is going to be a long distance mobile suit. Um, anyways, parts trait with technique attribute, melee crit rate boost 17%. That is actually really, really good. The unfortunate part is that this trait is on arms and you're usually trying to do melee, um, that you're trying to use arms that have great melee attack. So these arms, as good as the trait is, it's kind of bad because look at it your melee attack is 891 whereas a lot of other top tier arms are in the high 2000s so i mean it's like you're missing you're missing out on 2000 uh straight up you know attack points and i'm not trading off 2000 melee attack points for a 17 boost and crit i can get that on other parts like a backpack or legs or something so yeah this as as awesome as i would like these arms to be they're trash now we'll take a look at the legs. So I had high hopes, um, but I'm gonna show you. It's just a beam shot, B plus, um, you got D. Fire two beam rifles, use the sub arms attached to your waist. And the thing that I really hate about this is that this is beam shot and then the grades was physical. So you can't really focus on like, hey, let's just increase, like if using beam, increase by X amount of percent. You can do that, but then it's like now your grenades on, on the uh, the arms aren't going to be utilized. Well, sorry, the um, the chest. So it's I don't know, man. I'm I'm just not feeling it. The parameters are eh, not really that great. I mean, I guess the defenses are okay for a three star, but everything else is just lackluster. So yeah, the I don't think the legs are that good. Now we come to what I believe is the best part of the entire suit, and this is much like the Stargazer, which Stargazer really only had the backpack that was good. So. Uh, parameters on this is going to be okay, not too bad, uh, very similar to the legs actually. So you get the EX skill, shield booster, awakening, 51 seconds, first time 12 seconds. You d use the shield booster to temporarily increase uh, performance, this is going to raise speed by 20%, raise your melee attack by 19, and physical resistance by 49. I think this is good, I think it's really really good, uh, it's kind of like, it's actually a lot more like the Zuda, the Saturn um, 
thing, so like it increases like speed and all that. I think this is good. So I would say if you're gonna invest, uh, so far at least, you know, we still got a couple more, uh, a couple of shields to go through. But if you are going to invest in this mobile suit, I mean, the backpack is definitely going to be what you want. And next we have is the beam rifle. So, yeah, not good shot attack. Everything else is pretty meh. Uh, middle job, middle shooter job. Special shot damage output boosted by 20. Yep, not good. Sorry. Now here is one of two shields. This one is going to be the regular shield booster, and yes, yeah, stats are eh, not really uh, impressing me. With technique attribute buff EX skill effect of 15%. So this is this is not too bad. This is going to go good uh, hand in hand with things like the Talgi's head, the Sumo head. Um, you know, I think even the the Sword Strike arms, which increase the entire squad's uh, defenses. So this is actually not too bad. I would say maybe if you really want to invest in this, you can. Um, I don't think this is going to be a wasted uh, shield spot, especially since. We don't get too many shields in the the banners, so maybe even try to uh, you know get this if you're just not really having luck getting a good shield. And take a look at the other shield, which is just the enhanced shield booster. Uh, pretty much the same exact stats. And then take a look at the scattering beam cannon. This is really good, man. Uh, beam shot. You got piercing A minus, power C minus, and it's going to be firing the uh, scattering beam cannon stowed in your shield. First time three seconds as well. So this is really good. This is gonna do some massive damage, uh, especially if you get some other parts that is going to increase either your piercing or your power. I would probably say go more for the power, um, but yeah, this is this is gonna be pretty good. Now this mobile suit is not gonna have its pilot in the banner, so what I would probably recommend is, this really seems more like a long distance shooter, but it's kind of weird. You have like middle job shooter, that is you know for the weapon but you're also going to have melee oriented stuff so it's like do you want to go melee or do you want to go uh mid-range i'll probably go with mid-range so let's go ahead and find a good mid-range pilot so here is who i found i think c book is probably going to be your best bet because um he also has a parts trait which is beneficial to the uh the technique uh, attributes so all uh so enemy all power reduce 18 percent so this is just going to help you out. I mean, even though you have some pretty good defenses overall, it's always good to just minimize how much damage you're going to be taking both melee and shot. So it's also going to fixate on the shot attack, which is going to benefit the MS. Now, this mobile suit is not going to come with a melee weapon, which is unfortunate, uh, but there are a couple of good weapons you can choose. I would honestly say go with the beam saber or go with the beam jab, uh, javelin. So these are default four stars. If you really want a good EX skill um, just for melee, then you can go Beam Javelin. But this thing already has uh, like a, enough EX skills in my opinion, so I'll say probably go with the Beam Saber. Now with gear, I would probably say if you're going to uh, equip it with anything, you could either go with Shot Attack, which I would say Shot Attack is definitely going to be the one you're going to go for. But you could also go for Melee Attack, uh, since there are you know traits that is going to increase its um you know its percentage wise on the crit rates. So you can either increase the attack or you can increase the shot attack. But yeah, I, I would just I would probably say focus on the shot attack. Now for word tags, we're gonna pretty much have uh, two word tags that's gonna be automatically activated, which is gonna be high mobility and long range. So let's take a look at what those two are gonna do. So long range, raise shot attack and shot defense 5% while active, and high mobility is raise shot defense and beam resistance 5% while active. So pretty good defensive wise, and you can get a little bit in that shot attack, so. Yeah, I, I would say this is really good for a default in terms of word tags. Uh, and if you really want to try and get a third one, you can. But I don't really see you being able to unless you maybe like sacrifice. Um, actually, you really can't because you'll have long range federation. Yeah, so you can only max four federations uh, because if you get rid of one of the other parts, you're getting rid of the high mobility. So. Unfortunately, by default, you can't get three word tags on this suit unless you change up a lot of parts and you're not going to be getting that uh, high mobility, maybe not even long range. But yeah, I think the word tags are pretty good for this though. So let's go ahead and move on to some actual battle. All right, so getting right into the battle, um, we still have one more EX skill to use, but we're going to take a look at these three first. So I'm going to let the shield charge up. Um, we'll take a look at the beam rifle. Yeah, it's not too bad. And obviously, we can charge it up. 
Oh, not right behind a building, though. And there we go. So it's just like your basic uh, beam rifle. Now let's take a look at the shield booster. Looking really good, really flashing. Now we got the sub arm. Does that. And the scattering shot. So not too, not too bad. I mean, obviously it's not doing a massive amount of damage because we're only level one. Um, but yeah, doing pretty good. We got that speed increase right now. Aesthetically, it looks cool. It does a lot of hovering. So, uh, you know, unlike the Barbados or a lot of other suits that actually walk around, uh, this one hovers, so I don't know. I, I think it looks cool. All right, and I'm going to move over here. So let's go at subarm. We got that scatter shot once again. And we're going to do some more damage right here. All right, let's just finish this off. And that's it. All right, so all I want to do with this one is just show you the shoulder grenades. And that was that. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this suit? Well, I can tell you it's not really that good. Um, aesthetically, yeah, it's cool. I love the way it looks. But when we're looking at actual like functionality within the game, it's not it's not doing good. It's not looking good at all. Uh, so the enhanced shield booster, I would say go for that. The backpack, go for that. Everything else. I, I would say just ditch. Maybe even the uh, the regular shield booster. That one's okay because it has a good trait with the shield buff. Well, not the shield, the uh, the overall buff increase. But that's it, man. I don't really see much else working in your favor. Uh, if you just like the aesthetics, then hey, you're probably gonna have a good time. You know, I, I think it's it's a pretty fine mobile suit, you know, to play with. But when you're looking at the competitive side, you look at maybe three v threes in the future. You're looking at raids. If you, if you bring this, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'll just say that right now. If, if I'm going to raid with you and I see a full decked out TR1, yeah, man, uh, it's not going to be a good time. But if I do see that, you know, backpack of that shield, I'm like, oh, man, you know, he's going to be doing some good damage. Uh, he's going to have a good awakening. Hey, that's cool. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, unfortunate, hey, you know, we haven't really had too many good uh, events lately. I think the last good ones we had were, were like the Blitz and the Rising. Uh, so hopefully we get some good events in the future. Um, you know, Delta was a little bit unfortunate that really didn't pan out well. Um, so this one, I think it's just kind of following the same thing. But I mean, it has two good, it has two good items. But other than that, that's it for me, guys. Definitely, if you can, comment, subscribe if you have not already. It, it truly helps the channel. It helps me just put more content out there because I know what exactly you want to see. So that way I can kind of cater to some of y'all a little bit more. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.